Hi everyone, this is Placencia Belize, and I'm at the very, very point. And I'm just gonna show you my drive along the Placencia Peninsula. Um, I will pause it here and there, so it's not super, so this video isn't super long, but um, I'll try to have the video on during the, the more interesting parts of the, the journey across the, uh, across the peninsula of Palencia, which is known as the Placencia, is what I meant to say. And it's known as the island you can walk to or drive to, for that matter. There's a soccer field on the left. I just ate at a place called Wendy's, and it's not Wendy's fast food as we know in America. It's a Creole lady named Wendy, and it's a really nice um, place to get breakfast. You'd probably eat all kinds of foods, actually. Um, the, the menu had everything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And right across the street from the little tiny street here from uh, Wendy's is a gourmet organic coffee shop where you can get all kinds of gourmet coffees and teas and a few pastries and I and that is right across from Wendy's so I went I ordered my food and told my server I'd be going across the street and getting a coffee and coming back and that's what I did because I wanted to get the good coffee to go for my trip it's kind of like a, a mom and pop Starbucks Starbucks if you will it's a really good place to get it was about seven bucks but that's because I got two extra shots. They all come with two shots. I got a mocha with two extra shots and it was still only seven bucks. That wasn't, that's not too bad for four shots total. And it, it probably only would have been about five if that. And my breakfast, I got the stewed chicken, and, but not instead of rice and beans. Rice and beans and stewed chicken is a uh, Belizean breakfast. And, um, but I didn't want the beans today. I, I wouldn't mind it another day, but not today. I got some stewed chicken so I can share it with my dog. A side of that and a side of hash browns and scrambled eggs. And that was only about seven bucks. So it was a really good price. Right across the street, you can't see it on, on the other side. Belize Mexican Tacos. It's just a little bending uh, shack that you stop in. Um, I just stopped at a police ch uh, check point. But anyway, it sells tacos or whatever. Um, but this police checkpoint, she just waved me through. You didn't see that, of course. But they have little police checkpoints here and there. And I'm not sure what they're checking for, if they're just checking for immigration type reasons. Probably, I'm not sure. Maybe drugs too, I don't know. Um, but they're very arbitrary about it. Um, sometimes they'll be on break and they won't be at the, the, the checkpoint. And I've probably been, I've went through one where they weren't there and just this one right here where she, she the lady was sitting way back and just waved me through. <laughs> and then I went to two where um, they actually stopped, or I actually had to stop like all the other cars. And I just say, hey, I'm just a tourist. I just got here. And they're like, oh, one was really nice, asked me a few questions. But they waved me, pretty much waved me right through, so. Sandy Beach, Sandy Feet to Beach Rentals. glare there's nothing I can really do about that unless I had way better equipment uh, I tried to wipe the windshield off as best I could on the inside and the outside some of it I just couldn't I had a hard time reaching and I didn't get it perfect but if it rains during the trip I may or may not stop to clean it up uh, I mean I'll just have to use the wipers so forgive all that if that happens Yesterday I ate at Tipsy Tuna and they had 
along the ocean side. There's a lagoon side and an ocean side. And along the ocean side, uh, I just walked along that beach there and stopped at Tipsy Tuna, where they're supposed to have great nightlife there, but I didn't care about that. Um, and I walked there from my place where I stayed at Sailfish, which is right at the point, basically, the very, very end of, or tip of the peninsula. And it's only like a five to 10 minute walk, five minute walk to Paradise, where I, I ate, I mentioned earlier that I ate, and um, about a 10 minute walk to everything else, to all, like the hub, where you start the hub of all the gift shops, and um, you can get to the beach, it's probably about a 10 minute walk to the beach, where I um, went yesterday. Uh, and. I walked along the beach and then stopped at Tipsy Tuna and ate there and then swam with my little dog, Luna. So I'm just now going around the Mayan Air, or the airport where there's Mayan Air is used. I'm not sure what else. They're going to have to check me through this gate thing. So I have to stop here because the guy's waiting. The planes fly in and out. That's why there's these gates here. And there's, duh. So you got a gate on this side and you got a gate on the outside because they fly right in between here. And we have to wait till the plane either leaves or arrives. He, he This guy watches. And when it's, when it's safe for the planes say for us then that's when we go and the, the the little arm will open you see the plane and now I get to go there it goes the plane I don't know if you can still see it over there. That's how this works. Okay. I was wondering last night when I came through. I was a little confused. Now we go around this other side and we're clear to go. No planes coming or leaving. And that's how that works. This is the airline is Maya Island Air. We have these speed bumps all along here. Definitely out of the hub now. I just thought I'd show you some of the beauty here. Lashness.
selling their wares on the streets, on the side of the streets, or uh, they walk around on the beach. Get you up there, uh, you can't see it, but on the left there is a uh, fruit stand, fruit and vegetable stand. So I'm not finding prices to be super expensive. Of course, I'm I'm eating very you know modestly. I'm not ordering lobster or anything either. But I'm not finding them super cheap either. I'm not finding things super cheap like in Nicaragua when I was there. But still reasonable, like reasonable prices. I, I'm finding meals are between five and seven bucks so far for just modest meals. You know, stewed chicken, rice, beans, that type of thing. Another little store on the left. You see the ocean over there. The hairy hut. sign or anything and just hope I didn't do any damage to the rental car. Lots of property for sale I've been seeing. A lot. The Selfish Hotel where I stayed or Selfish Inn or whatever it was that whole property was for sale. Like there's I see like five for sale signs, three max signs. So seems like um a lot of people are either selling or uh, I don't know why. I wonder. Horse for sale signs. Holy heck, there's like three in a row. golf and I saw bowling lanes they've, got, they've even got bowling Jaguar bowling lanes Serenian Bay is on, on my left okay I'd say we're around the halfway point on the peninsula now I think from what I read it's 26 miles long so, and you have to go slow here and there. You have to, I mean, you have to go fairly s slow throughout most of it. This part you can speed up more, but it still has speed bumps. You just, there's, part, there's parts of the road that you just you have to slow down considerably, and parts that you can go a little bit faster. A lot of expats out in this area, I think. Okay, we're coming upon Maya Beach, and I think that's the name of, like, the little town here, um, as well as, I'm mean, it's maybe named after an actual beach, too. I'm not sure though. I'm just gonna read up on that. I'm sorry. I don't have my facts straight on that. There's more for sale signs. Uh, just about everything I come to is like for sale. And 
on the right here, I don't know if you can see, you can see the ocean right there, I can tell, your, right, your beach front right here for these places that are for sale, beach front, really nice. Um, see apartment for rent on the left side. Still, this is my beach. Buyer's market. I wonder what the prices are. I'm curious to look into it. I'm, I'm not sure I would buy here, but it is definitely still not very nice place to settle if you're going to be in Belize. It's just I think it's just more expensive. If I mean, if you are on a tight retirement budget, budget, you might not want to be here. But if you've got an okay retirement budget, budget, then you'd probably do just fine here if you live um, modestly. my beach area um, I think there's only about another five miles till I'm off the island so I'm towards I'm pretty close to the mainland now I'm at the probably the the third that, of the island that's closest to the mainland lots for sale side is beach. I think pretty, from what I read, I think the whole, this whole um, ocean side, not the lagoon side, is all beach. Waterfront lots is what they're going to be calling, or is what that is. And there's a Lowen's Hardware on the, my left too. Big, it's a big hardware store, probably for all the building going on. Lumber store. There's like a lumber, big lumber shed over here too.
house is on my left that you can't see. I'm, I'm imagining this is an expat type of area. Then you got this gated area over here to your right, my right, which you guys should see. Hotel and Casino. Who knew? I didn't realize they had a casino on the island. Interesting. Some more for sale signs. Now we're coming to uh, the part of the island that's right by the mainland that's super skinny, like the super skinniest part of the, I say island, but you know what I mean, the peninsula. And you can see why it, what I mean by you can basically throw a rock from one side, from the ocean side to the lagoon side. Let's see if you can see the lagoon side and the ocean side at the same time. You should be able to. Now we've got 40 miles an hour. Yep, that lagoon's just really close. You probably didn't see it, but it's like super close. Lots of for sale signs right here. And I'd say there's maybe a half a mile, and then we're off the island on the mainland. Super nice houses that are all for sale, it looks like. It's so weird. It's so much for sale.